What's up guys, welcome to G Whiskey, my name is Jeff. Now this is a channel where I offer my thoughts and opinions on a specific whiskey, and if you stick around to the end, I'll be giving it a score as well. If that sounds interesting, hit subscribe down below. And with that out of the way, why don't we jump into our review. Today we're going to be looking at Macallan 15 Double Cask. Stick around. So I'll be honest with you guys, this is actually the second time that I'm reviewing this video, and there's a few reasons for that. First of all, uh, the first time I reviewed Macallan 15, it was a few months back, and it was one of the first videos I ever put out on my channel. And even though my channel is only a couple months old, those first five videos, looking back on them, I'm not very happy with them. It's not the style I want to keep moving forward, so I figured I would update the review for you guys. Beyond that, I'll be giving it a new score. Of course, scores can change depending on your mood, what you've eaten. So. Still, I do want to update the score so that it better reflects my opinion of the whiskey. And third, that was by far the most viewed uh, whiskey review on my channel, and that's because this is a very popular whiskey. So I wanted to get it right for you guys. So this will be my updated review of Macallan 15. So of course, the one we've got today is the 15 year old double cast. This one came out last year in 2020. It came out alongside with the 18 year old double cast. So the 15 and the 18 are pretty recent releases. They're a follow up to the 12 year old, which came out in 2016. Now the double cast series is basically McAllen's latest core range. They have a few core ranges on the go. Uh, this is the newest one. They also have triple cask, sherry oak and fine oak. Now, I don't know about you, but I found this title a little bit confusing when I first saw it because when I think double cask, I'm thinking it's probably gonna be a finished whiskey. I thought they matured them in bourbon barrels, finished them off in sherry barrels, and that's not the case. This is actually entirely matured in sherry barrels. But the double cask actually refers to the two different types of wood that they use to make this. One was American white oak, and the other was European oak. And they're gonna impart different flavors to the whiskey. The American white oak is gonna give you more vanillas. It's got kind of a sweeter, rounder profile. European oak, it imparts a lot more spiciness. It's more wood tannins and heavy, complex flavors. Anyway, this was a whiskey that caught my eye when it came out last year. Um, I do like Macallan, I like their house style, and I do keep an eye on their new releases. And it's not every day that we get a new age-stated release that's part of their core range. So definitely caught my attention. So yeah, with that said, if you could kindly leave a like down below, that'd be great. And we can hop into our view and see what this whiskey is all about. Now our ABV here is not going to be great. It comes in at 43%, um, but you know what? I'll take it. McAllen is kind of famous for having lower ABVs. 43 is fine as long as it's a good whiskey. We'll give it a pass for that. Uh, beyond that, I don't know about chill filtration. I didn't find much online. If you know anything about that, do let me know down in the comments. Probably should have done more homework for this one. Uh, but anyway, natural color. Yes, we do have natural color here. So I'll show you the color of our whiskey. I'm not sure how well that'll come out on camera. Beautiful color, beautiful bottle. I like Macallan bottles. I always have simple, classy, elegant. And you know, Macallan's owned by Edrington Group who also own Highland Park. Highland Park, kind of famous for this over the top um, gaudy marketing. Luckily, Macallan doesn't suffer from that. They do keep things pretty simple and I do appreciate that. I like the tapered bottle. They don't have too much fluff, a little bit on the back, some on the front. Of course, you've got stuff like perfect balance, hand-picked, blah, blah, blah. But overall, there's not too much noise on it. Um, it's clean, it's modern, it looks great on the bar shelf. So for presentation, I'll give this maybe a four and a half out of five. All right, let's take a look at our nose here. Nice. So it's sherry forward, it's sherry first. Um, it's not this super deep, super dark sherry, but you definitely get lots of red fruits in there. You have baking spices, there's um, sweet spices, a lot of cinnamon, very cinnamon forward. You also have some oak in here, some orange oil, and some Christmas cake. It's complex, it's rich, it's elegant. Now for the palette. First thing you get is spice. So like wood spice, oak spice, some tannins, some like Christmas flavors in here. So Christmas cake, uh, cinnamon, some dried fruits like sultanas, dates. You also have oranges in here. There's a good amount of complexity, good oiliness to it too, especially for something at 43%. Now for the finish. Now 
those spices keep on hitting they keep on going this is a much spicier whiskey than i thought it would be um big oak oak spice wood spice wood tannins you also have like an orange note that Macallan orange signature flavor is in there orange hard candy orange oil there's christmas cake uh, dates sultanas dark chocolate sherry red berries lots of complexity pretty substantial for something again only at 43 percent finish medium in length so i like this one you're getting mccallan through and through if you like the house style you'll definitely find it here um it's different from the sherry oak series the sherry oak ones they usually go in a little bit more of a sweet traditional sherry direction this one it's those european uh, oak casts working their magic you get a spicy more tannin forward whiskey i think it adds to the character and complexity so you do need to be ready for that spice attack and if you're sensitive to spicy whiskeys you might not love this one and when i say spicy i don't mean hot it's nothing to do with youth like i said it's those european oak casts really coming on strong i like it but not for everyone but I think most seasoned whiskey drinkers are going to be okay with a bit of oak spice. It's not over oaked. I'm just saying it comes on strong. Overall, it's a balanced whiskey. Despite that, I think those flavors come together nicely. And I think you're getting the full effect of those 15 years. So it's a good one for score. I'll give it an 88. Now, my old review, I gave it an 87. So obviously, that's not a very big difference. But again, just wanted to update the review. I've spent more time with this whiskey. I've gotten to know it a lot better. And I think now I have a much better handle on it. So yeah, if you're a fan of Macallan, you should like this as long as you're okay with that bit of spice. It's not a sherry bomb, but it's definitely a very sherry forward whiskey with some good complexity. So for value, I do think this one's pretty good. It's not cheap for a 15 year old, but it is cheap for a Macallan and it is the cheapest 15 year old Macallan you can get for the money. Um, it's better than the 12. So even though it's more than double the price of the 12 where I live, I would still recommend you start with the 15. It's more refined, it's more elegant. Overall, it's a good one, and if you like Macallan and you don't want to break the bank, start with this. All right, that's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. As always, hit subscribe down below, click that little bell icon, and of course, smash the like. I do want to hear from you. Have you tried the Macallan 15 double cask? Have you tried the 12 or the 18? What are your thoughts on the new line? And finally, down in the comments, let me know what you want to see me review next, and I'll keep it in mind for my next video. Bye, guys.